In this video, we're going to use Blockly with Coding with Chrome to show how we can build some simple abstract pictures. So I'm going to start off in Coding with Chrome after I have it open. I'm going to go into Beginner Mode. I'm going to go ahead and click that, and I'm going to go into Blockly. Now I'm going to create a new program using Blockly. Now Blockly gives me this nice interface where I have a stage on the right side and I have an area on the left where I can put my blocks. So I can actually have it command or do some commands and have it draw different pictures. So if I pick, you know, for example, a circle and I put a circle over here, you'll see that that's going to draw a circle on the screen with a particular border color, particular fill color, border size, and an X, Y, and radius. And if I don't want to show that circle anymore, I can just drag it down to the trash. Or if I want to draw something else, I could draw, say, a rectangle. And we could draw a rectangle, and you can see here now this is going to draw a rectangle. And if I want to put that closer to the left side of the screen, I can say that should be 10 pixels from the left side. And I can say it should be 50 pixels from the top of the screen. And I can change its height and width as well. I can say, let's make it 100 pixels wide, and we'll make it 300 pixels tall. So now we have a nice rectangle there. And we can make the border size a little bit longer. And so Blockly can allow us to draw these pictures. In fact, we can draw several of these together. You know, so we can pick these up and we can add different pictures together. And you can see here we have a line on top of a rectangle. And as we add these, we're going to build more and more interesting pictures. But if we want to fill up the screen, we could actually do something like drawing a circle. And let's say we want to draw a circle and we want to draw lots and lots of circles. We can actually use a loop and we can say repeat this many times. So we're going to say we'll repeat this 100 times or 1,000 times or even 2,000 times. Uh, we'll go ahead and start with 500 and we'll create 500 circles. Now right now we're creating circles on top of each other. So that's not terribly interesting. But if we want to create red circles all over the screen, we can actually go into our math and we can create random numbers or random fractions or anything. Uh, to add in the different values here. So if I want to say I want a random integer from 0 to say uh, 500 should give me the entire length of my, or width of my screen. You can see here this is creating lots and lots of circles. And if I want to do the same thing, I can go into math and I can create a random integer uh, and make that go from 0 to 500. And now you'll see I'm actually creating a whole lot of circles. Uh, you know, I can even make them a random uh, radius so I can have different size circles. So I'm going to go ahead back into math and I'm going to pull off my random integer. And we'll say we want uh, circles that are probably at least 20 pixels and maybe no more than 80 pixels. So now we're getting a variety of circles. If we want to fill up that whole screen, we can actually increase that. Let's go ahead and make this uh, 600 wide. Let's go a little bit farther. We'll go to 680 wide. So now we're filling up to all the way to the right side of the screen. And we'll go ahead and say 650 to the bottom. And that should create fill us up all the way to the bottom. So now we have a full screen. We're building lots of different size circles. And every time we refresh this, we'll get a different arrangement of circles. Now we can also do random colors. So we could go back into math. And uh, I'm sorry, not math. We could go into color and we can pick out random color. So we could have a random color for our fill. And now we're getting an interesting assortment of circles. In fact, we could even say make the borders white instead of dark. Or we could even go in and add a random color in for our circles. So now we have circles with lines that are varying. We have circles with colors that are varying. And we can even throw in one more last variance here uh, by throwing in a random integer. We'll say a random in integer between 2 and 8. So we can have different widths for our lines as well. So if we experiment with this, we can actually create lots of cool psychedelic patterns just by adding in different random values and using loops to draw one circle over and over and over again. So go ahead and experiment with the blocks that are available. You've got circles, you've got rectangles, you've got ovals, and you can experiment with the colors and how you can fill those in to make some really interesting drawings. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to practice your coding.